Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play now today with the beta version of Destiny 2. Yes, the PC version of Destiny is finally here, well the beta for it is. It's gonna be out next month on the 12th, I'm not mistaken. And it's currently available, well, uh, by the time you're seeing the show, the beta will have been already over. But uh, maybe you had a chance to play it, if you did, please let me know in the comments and tell me your experience with the game. If you haven't, well, welcome to a show where I will try to explain to you what the gist of the game is, how it handles, how it looks like, and what can you expect from uh, the arrival on PC of the Destiny Formula type of game. Spoiler, imagine if Tabula Rasa had proper first-person shooter mechanics with at least. Technically, it, it does have some kind of ballistic simulation, uh, not a lot of it but it has more than Tabula Rasa did in 2007 on account of the servers not being hosted on a potato. So let's actually begin by showing you the several the classes you have at your disposal. So let's go back to the main menu. Let's see. Uh, this is the first thing you're going to see when you put out the game. Um, actually, the first thing we saw was the saxophone error because uh, as you see in the live stream, there were some issues with the beta when it first started out. In the beta we have three classes, I believe there will actually be more in the final version, or at least these classes will have subclasses. I'm currently playing as the Warlock and I'm gonna keep playing with it because uh, otherwise I would have to redo the tutorial and it, it's a bit long and not all that interesting. The Warlock specializes in mysteries of the... Weapon, uh, Warlock weaponizes the masters of the mysteries of the universe to sustain themselves and devastate their foes. This means this character has a healing ability. Hunter, agile and daring hunters are quick on their feet and quicker on the draw, meaning they're the sneaky sneaky sniper knifey kind of person. And the titan, disciple, disciplined and proud, titans are capable of both aggressive assaults and stalwart defenders. They're basically Captain America, but with a gun. Let's actually go back and select our other character, the warlock. The beta version of the game has three missions available. Two of them are PvP. This is quick play. This is uh, capture the objective, uh, hold the point basically. You have three points, you have to capture them. And the more you cap them, it's, it's Team Fortress 2 control, control points game with three control points. It's, it's Dust Bowl. Though I believe Dust Bowl had a thing where they locked one of them, but that's not important. It's, um, it's an okay game mode. This one is basically bomb from Counter Strike. You have to capture and hold the bomb. Or get, cap, uh, pardon, you have to play, plant the bomb, and then the other team has to defuse it, or you have to stop them from uh, uh, placing the bomb or to defuse it. It's um, it wasn't as fun when we played it in the in the live stream, mostly because we played against people that uh, knew how to play better for some reason, possibly because this was a mode in the other game in Destiny One. But for the most part, we played this, the Inverted Spire Strike, which is an instanced uh, mission, basically. Strikes are just missions, that's what they're called. Inverted Spire is a uh, is a map. Fire team for one to three people, cooperative matchmaking. I'm going to play this solo because I do not actually want to have other people running around me and uh, getting in the way. Now, I'm running this game on the... Oh, I didn't show the settings, but... No, 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 uh, no. How do I? Uh, God damn it! I can't. Can I? I can't start it by myself, can I? Um, we're gonna have to see about that. But first, I'm gonna show you the um, the graphical settings. They remind me a bit of the way that um, that Overwatch struct structures them. They're currently on the highest setting possible. I haven't actually tested the game with these settings. Also, you can turn on and off HDR if you have an HDR display. I have turned off, and maybe it's my imagination, but this wasn't as green before I turned it on and off. So maybe I uh, accidentally left it on. I'm gonna try this again, see if I can play this solo. Maybe it'll let me. Until we actually find something, it says it's launching here. This is my character. This is the gear I've uh, collected so far. The game has a novel way, well, novel for... Uh, if you're used to normal MMOs, of uh, letting you equip gear. You have um, three weapons. One is the um, obligatory um, physical damage weapon. These two are a sidearm and a uh, special weapon like a grenade launcher. I got a rocket launcher! Cool! Okay, I'm gonna equip the rocket launcher, which is gonna be cool, I'm hoping. This one, by the way, is restricted in the, multi in the PvP modes. You don't have ammo for it. Sometimes ammo will spawn on the screen. Okay, we're starting, it seems, by myself. That's gonna be nice. You may have some Warframe flashbacks because of the ship thing. It's okay. A lot of people have and will and do. Currently, the game is running at 75 frames a second because, again, the monitor is capable of... Ah, oh, damn it, I have I have teammates. 
I was hoping I wouldn't have teammates, but it seems I'm obligated to play this in co-op mode, which means that oh, it may not be as smooth or as good as I would, would have hoped to. It also means that it's... Oh god, they're Russians. They're Russians. Okay, frame rate wise 72 and four, okay 40, 48 on the highest settings, 37. Yeah, I'm below, I'm below freezing range, which is kind of annoying. See, when the first time when we spawned here in the beta, in the live stream, we had a lot of enemies in this area. Then we kind of tried to fight them. It seems my uh, my teammates are going that way, which is kind of sad because they won't experience what it's like to actually fight this thing and die repeatedly. So I'm going to go after them. The beta basically starts you out to around level 20 or something. Because you're not... Uh, what the hell is this? We have bikes now! Where did I get a bike? No, really, where did he get a bike from? What's the bike summon button? I know there's a button somewhere. Let's see, where's the bike summon button? Emote, orbit, heavy attack, block, crouch, interact, switch brain mode, primary boost, uh, deploy ghost. That, no, that, that the ghost is the other thing. The ghost is the, the other thing. Um, deploy ghost, uh, open director. Okay, so there's probably one around here somewhere. Uh, let, let's actually go to the objective. Or no, wait, that, if that guy is shooting at stuff, I'm going to help him. So I'm going to show you the basic combat. This is game made by Bungie, so you got to know that the um, actual hitting of things with guns is pretty satisfying. Like, it's it's fun. You sort of do get the Halo feel when you're playing it. Also, I, I, for some reason, I thought that thing would track because it showed like it was tracking. Okay, let's kill that thing and revive our, our ally. Reviving is very easy in the game, just uh, click on them for a couple of seconds and they will eventually come back to life. You're seeing an immune thing pop up, it means the character has a shield around them that is making them immune to my uh, attacks. Also, enemies will basically spawn in infinite droves, so you can kill them until you get bored. Unless, or maybe you would want to, I don't know, proceed to the actual objective. Now, to counteract the fact that just punching them and Kicking them in the face with your gun, it's kind of boring. Uh, the game also has uh, Swift Strike. What's a Swift Strike? I don't know. Ooh, collect loot. I collected some loot. It's uh, meth, I'm guessing. Uh, we, we're Walter White now. Oh, another one of these bosses came. So yeah, they're, they're going to repeat, repeat forever and ever and ever. Also, I believe that I replaced my uh, main ability. Yep, I replaced it. You have three abilities that you can use, well, yeah, you have three abilities that you can use in, in the game to make uh, to make it a bit less boring than uh, Borderlands. One of them is this, a healing field that heals me faster, I think, at least that's that's what I believe it does. I'm not really actually sure, I couldn't uh, find any proper uh, way of telling what that thing does, uh, so uh, maybe it's a protection thing, it's, it's kind of nebulous. I mean, the time I had to, I just, I just put with the game in the um, live stream, I couldn't properly actually tell exactly what was going on. I'm gonna have to revive this guy soon. Hopefully, don't die while I'm at it. Come on, back to life, back to life. Okay, and I died myself. Now, well, I can respawn in two seconds because uh, there is no statue of limitation on um, respawns in this area. Uh, we will have more limited respawns later on when you get to the boss section. But yeah, this is basically what we do. You kill stuff, you shoot them and hope they die, and then you proceed to the objective. I'm gonna go to the objective now. Because, uh, why wouldn't I? Like, uh, that that thing's not gonna end. That that thing with the boss, that's gonna go on and on and on and on and on. Now, what I was, what I was gonna say is that you have multiple abilities, uh, but for some reason, and an annoying reason actually, the, um, you see the second one, the second icon next to that bar that's, uh, not exactly sure where that is. You have this. This is the melee. Now, it's there because some classes have a special melee attack, like the hunter, they can throw a knife. Also, that's a boss. And that guy died all the way over there. Okay, let's shoot these things. It's kind of annoying because you see this is an ability, but it's not. And it becomes a bit annoying to see it there. Okay, let's hack this thing. With the... That thing. And hopefully the other guy will come here soon. Let's see. Can I see a list of the other players in the instance? No, I cannot. Well, I can see. Well, one of them exited, another one entered. 
But I would, li- would like to see the option, like a clear option of uh, playing just by myself. Now that while we're waiting for the other people to come, you can see some of the equipment we have, uh, some of the weapons. They are... I'm actually going to try this weapon now. You can switch them on the fly, which is actually something I, I'm okay with because um, that's sort of what Tabula Rasa had. Like in Tabula Rasa, you did not have just one gun. You had many, many, many guns that you could switch between because, uh, you know, enemies were immune to certain types of attacks. And it's the same here. Like, some enemies are absolutely immune to certain types of attacks and you will need uh, different kind of weapons to deal with them. You also have a limited jetpack that lets you do a sort of a double jump, but keep in mind, once you're in the air, you have really limited control over your uh, your movement, unless you press X and do that thing. And now my uh, my super thing is charged. Okay, that bar, is, that's your rage bar, basically. I unlocked my ultimate now. My ultimate is amazing. Like, my ultimate is absolutely kick-ass. It is an amazing ultimate. It's an ultimate that I love. And this revolver has a really long range. That ball you saw coming down, that was the enemy spawn thing. That's where the enemy spawn from. And if that thing hits you on the head, you will die instantly. And it is quite painful. It's also kind of annoying. So it's not recommended to stand around in enemy spawn areas. Because you will die. One thing you'll probably note in this uh, game mode is that sometimes the enemies will fight among themselves. That's because there's several factions of them. There's pirates and then there's the, um, the cabal. And they will fight themselves. You also need ammo in this game, so make sure to pick it up. Let's go up here and play with portals. Very, very predictable portals. And let's go to that thing. Like, there's a thing there that I want to see what it is. I don't think we... I want that thing later. Oh, maybe that's the respawn point? That could be the respawn point. Let me check to make sure. Oh my god, I'm... Uh, no, that was a teleporter that took me somewhere else. Oh, that took me back. Oh, God damn it! So that takes me back all the way there. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that, that's a that's my bad. Yeah, I should have uh, should have imagined. So now we know what the red portal does. We kept wondering in the live stream what the red portal did. Now we know. So let's move on forward through this giant maze of leapy things. It's kind of a missed opportunity. Actually, they could have had enemies like on those platforms, so we'd have more to do while jumping. I mean move up the tension, make it a bit more interesting, not just have us jump from place to place. The running speed is quite low. Like, I saw the guy uh, call up a bike, I, again, I have no idea how. So it's probably not not the most informative show we're going to see, but again, it's just a beta. We only have one mission to uh, deal with the game, and the mechanics of the speeder bikes were not uh, properly explained. Okay, let's go back here. Let's go down. I believe the nearby Vex constructs maintain that barrier. One of them's dead already. Well, well how are you dead already? Okay. We'll Where start. are you dead already? How? How did you die? Jesus. Okay, so last time we went through here. Really, I, I wish that the running speed was a bit faster because I, I can run faster than this. But at least you don't tire out after a few seconds. Okay, so now the respawning is restricted, meaning that if we die, we have to restart at the beginning of this level, not where we died off. And we will soon run into one of the game's bosses. Not now, but soon. Come on, let's jump in here. And voila, that's a minotaur. They have strange names like goblins, minotaurs and stuff, even though these things are not... Uh, they don't originate from Earth, they originate from some alien planet world thing. I'm gonna try and get a bit closer to actually be able to... Or maybe too close. Use my abilities on them. Punch you in the face! And they actually kind of hurt. So let, let's throw up the field thing. Which I'm not sure what it does. Oh, that's the empowering rift that makes you stronger. Oh, sorry, I forgot something. Okay, I'm out of ammo on this one, so I'm gonna have to use my revolver. Okay, there's some ammo. We have some ammo in, uh, in front of us. The revolver can be very powerful. One thing to notice is that uh, you're gonna use the same weapons in the PvP mode, so it's useful to have to know your weapons quite well. Also, there, there currently in the beta there is no problem with some weapons being more powerful than the rest because they all do 200 damage or something like that, but they have diff different characteristics. But there may be, like, some discrepancy with them. 
Okay, what were we gonna do now? Yeah, we're gonna do here. Oh, these guys are very annoying. They can basically one-shot kill you with those hatchets. And we have snipers too. Um, I think I may actually change my weapon from the revolver to something that's a bit more efficient at range. Let's try the nightshade. Because it's night and it is shade. Ah, ha, ha. And I'm supercharged again. Well, I always was. Okay, this thing is not a. This thing is just a burst rifle, so it may not be all that great. If you get lost, you can just press tab and see where you have to go. But it really, it's really not an issue because the levels are made to be as linear and as directed as possible. Though Raul still got lost in the tutorial. He, uh, he could do that. It's, it's an amazing skill. Because I have the FOV set to 100 and something, you can set it to pretty much everything you want up until 110 or something. Because of that, you may see some clipping of the body through itself. Like it's not uh, all that uh, well built for high uh, high levels of um, FOV. You can see that that's a special ability of the uh, the hunter. He deploys a spear, an electric spear that can use uh, for a limited time to kill stuff. I'm not going to tell you what my special ability is. You're going to see it. Well, you can see the icon. You can see one of the icons. Every character has two special abilities they can um, deploy. You may seem so, see some infight. Yeah, see there? That's some infighting between two species. The war beasts and the uh, goblins. The, the cabal and the space pirates. Uh, I should really change the weapon to something that's better pretty suited for long range. Okay, let's go down there. It's very nice the snipers, the enemy snipers have those um, very, very convenient uh, rays. Also have that en enemy ship. Actually, I can take it down, I think. Okay, so that one actually tracks. But it's kind of... Okay, they are firing from a very, very, very long distance. And they're hitting me, which is not nice. Now we have to go to a drilling uh, site that will probably kill us if we're not careful. Okay, let's go there. Ah, damn it, there's still a sniper up there. See, that, that guy just teleported sideways. Not sure why. I like the way these guys just come in by jumping. Also, I'm gonna kill them all with a giant flaming sword of utter doom and dread and fear and that. So, well, he has a spear too, so we kind we kind of doubled up on these and uh, made them use closer. The enemies will quite often just stay near tanks of exploding stuff. And to be fair they're not all that bright they're, they're kind of kind of stupid they're they're not smart enemies let's see come on see most of them are dead already oh there's a boss the oh, mini boss that's a mini boss so let's rock oh he can actually dodge it okay so he's not incredibly stupid just mostly stupid come on drop me some loot god damn it Get back here and fight like a coward. Okay, kill them. Let's see if he dropped anything. I'm gonna go in there. Punch anyone that's left in the face. Okay, there's someone left in the face. And I punched him. And he didn't drop anything, sadly. No, they, there's some ammo at least for my rocket launcher that I can reload now. And these enemies will respawn constantly. It's um, it's, a, it's the Tabula Rasa method. There's an orb here. Cool. I don't know what it does. Oh, and they were killing stuff, and there's more orbs here. I'm not sure what those, those, those do. Maybe those uh, reload my uh, special ability. Oh, so it does track, kind of, a bit, sort of. And he's down. Do I have to kill that thing? No, I have to press those things, I think. I'm gonna go punch him in the face from the side. I'm supercharged again. Oh, okay, he's dead. Let's uh, press the thing. I press the thing. Oh yeah, and turn down the, uh, the thing that lets me go up there. I would have thought the thing would have set me on fire, but it didn't. Let's throw a grenade. A grenade is a sort of a special ability you have. <clears throat> what this game could have really honestly used is uh, more special abilities. It has more than Borderlands, so it'll get boring uh, a lot slower. But at one point it will. Especially if it decides to not vary up the enemies uh, a lot. Punch you in the face, punch you in the face again. Also, your abilities are really, really slow to reuse. Like, really slow. They're kind of annoying slow. 
Okay, what we're supposed to do? Yeah, interact with something up here. Okay, interact with it, I think. Did I? Yep, I did, I did, I did. Let's throw up this thing. I don't know what it does, but it's it's scarful and it's it's a circle and I'm standing in it. Now I have to wait until the enemies all die. This is basically what the, most of the game boils down, boils down to. You have to stay in the circle while the enemies all die. Aha, you missed me because I was in the air. And I'm gonna have to revive my uh, colleague because he's dead and I don't have any more ammo. He's all, dead all the way up there. It's really... I can't go all the way up there now. I'm kind of busy killing stuff. Now, even though you can change ammo, uh, change um, weapons basically anytime you want, you can't really change. You can't don't have extra ammo for them, so uh, you basically have to use them sparingly. Like, don't overuse a weapon because you will need it afterwards. And now the, I wasted my thing before the boss wave came, I believe. So that may have been uh, shooting myself in the foot. That guy can just revive himself. What does he do it? Because he's out of the area. Okay, let's do my flip thing. Okay, shield these down. I don't have any more ammo to, for my actual main weapon. Well, the weapon that does more damage, I mean. But at least we're killing stuff. Where is the boss already dead? Did he kill it? Oh no, it's here, it's here, it's here. And the shield is back up. I keep getting those two things confused. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Headshots do count in this game, by the way, so it's important to actually shoot them in the head. That's actually useful. Now, we have to get across the digging side, which is up there. And we do it by climbing up here. And, by the way, uh, remember to double jump at the end, because otherwise you're gonna die. See? He did it properly, I didn't. Those have flame bats. Because why wouldn't they? I mean, it's... It, Fire is good. Fire burns. Gonna change the main weapon again. Let's see. Yeah, this one, the needle. The intel is a pistol. Another one. It's uh, surprisingly well suited for sniping, which kind of makes no sense. Like weapons are. You gotta get the feeling that they're, they're at a certain point, they're at a certain in a certain aspect, they're kind of interchangeable, and they are. They're made to be interchangeable, but it sort of takes away from their personality. I'm guessing. I'm saying. I would say, like a pistol, we shouldn't have the same range as a rifle. Really. Also, that thing has a shield, so it's immune to my attack. Can I throw all the way over there? No, I cannot. That that's yeah. I wasted my ability, and that will take several minutes to reload. It would be nice if they showed the numerical value for the reload of the ability. That would have been nice. At least this thing does a lot of damage. So it reminds me of the the pistol from Half from Halo One, that could basically, it could basically kill uh, the big brutes in like three four shots in the back. So you wouldn't waste a lot of ammo. This is a difficult thing because you have to, you have to platform, you have to navigate your way through this thing without being crushed by the Thigma Bob. Well, see, this is a more interesting take on the the bit with the platforms earlier. Because you also have to make sure you don't get killed by the environment, not just the enemies. Like this, this is a good, this is a good level. This is a good part of the level. It's very, very intricate and very well. It's, it's exciting. It's well made. So yeah, good on you, Bungie, for making something like this. And I'm out of ammo. And that thing's probably gonna kill me. Okay, it didn't, it didn't. I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. More ammo. Getting the ammo and hiding in here. Till the next thing comes and that thing is immune because of the shield but notice the shield is actually ballistically okay now it expanded it and you can shoot behind it okay i'm gonna throw my thing at you and hopefully kill you no it at least stable your shield like enough for me to kill you with the my normal attack okay i'm gonna have to rush through this hopefully not get killed hopefully hopefully i'm gonna make it i'm not gonna make it oh i jumped right in the wrong place I thought that thing was going to come up upstairs, but it came downstairs and it kind of ruined a bit. Okay, so I'm dead. This, these two guys are still alive. And they're going deeper inside and ignoring me. No, wait, I think they're dead. Where, where are they? What happened to them? I can't switch uh, to them again. Did you all die? Something happened. I'm not sure what.
Okay, it's it's a black screen. Oh yeah, it teleported me to them. Yeah, they got the boss battle before I could. And uh, we started it. And it, sadly, that means that I haven't had the chance to actually pick up uh, ammo for my rocket launcher. Meaning that I am going to be probably useless for this battle, but I'm going to do my best anyway. I can let that thing in the head. This is a multi-stage battle, meaning that... Um, well, you're going to see for yourself in a couple of seconds what that means in a game like this. The enemies are, by the way, incredible bullet sponges. They are... Quite, quite big. They take quite a lot of fire. They deal quite a lot of damage and hopefully they will not get completely boring. By the end. Have a grenade. Okay, you teleported away, you bastard. Okay, I'm supercharged. Not gonna waste it now because uh, the problem is there is no use for wasting it right now. I'm gonna get my pistol and see if I can kick him in the head. 102, 102, 121. Come on, teleport away. Reload, kill that thing. Need more ammo. If I die here, I will not be able to come back to fight instantly. Which is kind of a downer. See, he has a shield. I don't. I'm gonna get killed probably, but I have this. Then that now deals more damage, so this is actually a damage buff. Now it's immune because it's in its thing that lets it do something different. I teleport away and leave the floor behind us as nothing. And I have absolutely no ammo left. And that's kind of a downer. Let's see if I can land on one on top of one of these. Okay, so I actually managed to get on top of one of these this time. I'm gonna try and stay here, but it's it's actually very hard because this is an even uneven terrain. And the game will not Okay, I can't. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stay up there, which which is a bad thing because now the floor is absolute lava. Ah, uh, damn it. Nope. Died. I died. <sighs> okay. Uh, I wasn't the last one, like, uh, in our li live stream. I was second. We're gonna have to restart the uh, the boss battle from the beginning. So we're gonna start up here. Uh, I got some of my ammo back. So I'm not gonna be completely useless. By the way, never stand under what appears to be a boss uh, spawning area. Because you will die instantly when the boss spawns. I was there the last time we played. And they're gonna die too, if they stand right there. Okay, they move out of the way. Okay, Protean, no, Protean, not Protean. <laughs> there's, there's no Protean here, we're not, we don't have the same old names for the same old characters and same old stuff because we have no creativity. No, this uh, different, it's different. It's all different, people. Let's see, where'd he go? Where'd he teleport to? Where'd he go? Oh, where did he go? Have some grenade! And have my power-up ability. It maybe will do more damage to you. I don't know exactly what it does. I don't actually care. It looks neat, at least. If it's glowing and it's doing, it, then it's doing something. And I'm out of ammo again. Okay, I need to kill some of these um, floating things to get more ammo. Okay, there's some ah uh, boy. Uh, it's right on top of me. Right on top of me. At least I have my special ability primed. So I can use it maybe when... Uh, now he's immune again, so he's gonna do his thing. I'm gonna try and actually... Where did you... Oh, damn it. He, he fell... He already fell down and died. So he fell down before... Uh, before the floor vanished. By the way, you have limited use of your double jump. So don't overuse it. And I was stuck in the ground. So I, di I died when he, when he made the floor lava. Are they gonna revive me? Please revive me. Thank you for reviving me, mister. Okay. Uh. By the way, when you're jumping, you have very limited control over your ascent speed. And it's it tends to be very, very slow. It's kind of annoyingly slow, actually. It's infuriatingly slow. I wish it were faster. Come on, come on, st don't jump, what are you- oh, damn, it, damn it, damn it, damn it, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Run faster, run faster. Okay, gonna revive this guy. Okay, I'm glad I did because if I died right there, I would have, um... I would have been the reason why we had to redo the entire fight again. Okay. Revive that guy, kill the hobgoblin, shoot the guy in the face. 
I believe there's one more level to this. So I don't want to waste my ability just yet. Come on, switch weapons, reload. Hide behind here. It's a bit exciting, but again, the enemy is such a bullet sponge that it gets kind of annoying and boring at a, at a point. It's kind of repetitive. And I died again. Okay, we were blown off. Come on, got back in there. I'm gonna use my special ability now. Behold the bright flame of justice and burning and burning and much much and he vanished again. And left me in the middle of the goblins, oh boy. And it, it's vanishing again. It's vanishing again and we are going down. Hopefully I still have one charge left on my uh, my my thing so I can... No, okay. I had the X ready. I had not wasted my uh, my air dash. So I would still at least have that one. Currently he's immune. Okay, he's not anymore. But it's kind of annoying when they're immune stuff. Because they're doing an animation or something. Now he's gonna... If he's not going to move all that much, I can maybe be able to use my uh, my grenade on him. So I'm going to try that now. In your face. In your face. Some enemies would actually get critical damage if you shoot them in the face. Because their their heads is in their stomach. Because they're robots mostly. Oh, I'm going to run out of ammo. Okay, I picked up some ammo, so that's good. As you can see, I did not find any ammo for my rocket launcher, so the game does penalize you a lot for uh, for wishing you had ammo to your rocket launcher. It's kind of annoying, actually. Kick it in the face, and I'm gonna die. Okay, I did not die as much as I thought I would. Now I'm dead. Because of those things. Would I like to see a dash maneuver? Oh, damn it, not again. Now, please tell me we don't have to restart the entire the entire fight. I would like to see a actual um, dash move to uh, move around quickly because ah damn it, we're gonna have to do this all this again. Wow, this is this is getting annoying. That is getting kind of annoying. I mean, quantum harpy, harpy harpy, and teleported me towards here, which is a good thing. Like you don't waste time by. Um, because uh, players sometimes remain behind. Okay, let's let's just waste all the ammo for the pistol and the zero one uh, later. Okay, it spawns here. Now it spawns here. So it, at least you can predict where they're gonna be, because they use basically the same patterns always. Let's see, jump. Okay, let's hide and. I'm actually going to amp up my attack. Hopefully not die. Okay, I died. So that thing just amps up my attack. It doesn't actually heal me. For some reason I thought it healed me. Maybe because it... Um, I'm getting auto-healed when I'm not being killed. Reload faster. Die, you quantum harpy. That's not an insult. You're actually a harpy that's quantum in nature. Yes! Rocket launcher has one ammo. I'm gonna use it on the next wave. Oh, there's ammo there too. Oh, no, 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 no. The ammo is gonna be wasted. Okay. That's probably gonna be quite bad. I did not manage to stay up there. Did not manage it at all. Die, you... B oh, it was immune. It was in the animation state, so it was immune. Damn it. Or maybe it's immune to energy-based weapons, even though that's a grenade launcher, so it wouldn't be energy, it would be grenade, uh, it would be rocket, pardon. I also have a grenade launcher. I also have a grenade launcher. Okay, it's doing the thing again. It's doing the thing again. It did the thing. They're immune now. Are my, my other guys fine? I'm out of ammo on this one. Okay, let's kill the hobgoblins. So they're immune again. They're immune again. Oh, they're ready. I don't know what those orbs do. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and heal this guy. Okay, that actually went better than I thought it, w it would. Have a grenade. And I almost fell down again. Like, th these players are exactly thin enough for the the weapon fire to actually hit us from time to time. So 
so they're built uh, they're built to not, not give us too much cover so it's a good encounter but the repetition of it kind of makes it annoying after a point and they're still immune not for long okay this is the last portion uh do we have any more uh Okay, be careful now. Be very, very careful. I have almost my ability. My special ability is almost charged. Also, have one that sort of fires all sorts of. Oh, I think I deployed it too early. Okay, super ability charged. We have the shield that's protecting us here. And it's immune again. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, you're not immune. It also said something about being exposed or something, I don't know. Okay, uh, gonna throw my grenade again. I'm gonna try and kill it with my special ability. Ah, damn it. Okay, now, go, 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 planet. Do not kill me, do not kill me, do not kill me, do not kill me, do not kill me. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to hide now. Die, Mr. Goblin, die you too. You too, Mr. Goblin, both goblins dead. Could appreciate more ammo. Yeah, it's, ex it's an exciting uh, fight, but again, the repetition makes it a bit annoying, so I don't know what you could do to actually solve that without, makes it, without making it actually trivial. Maybe actually have a permanent fail state, so people will waste their time. No, that would be even more annoying. Even more annoying. Healing abilities, maybe? And that would make it even more of an MMO, which it is. It absolutely is, and I'm blind now. I can't see anything. Okay, it's losing more stuff. Not sure if- oh god, it's aiming right at me. Wasn't sure if the damage we're doing to it was actually positional. Come on. Do the thing! Okay, it's coming in door- in land, meaning that we can kill it now properly. Only does this when it, uh, almost, when it's almost dead, and it's dead. It's- ah oh, god damn it, I died in the last second. Revive me, okay, so we don't all die. And we won. And we got more meth. And Tantalus power something, what was it? Uh, tarantula, this thing? I get this thing? Yeah, I think I got this thing. Well, this was the uh, play now of the beta version of Destiny 2. The beta. Ooh, this is a, uh, this is like a, uh, railgun. Requires a charge, nice. It's, it's a good sniper thing. Well, oh, by the way, heavy modes in this game. I can do this. And stuff. Yeah, I was second. I got most orbs. Uh, less precision kills, which is kind of sad. Let's go back to orbit. But yeah, uh, this is the basic idea of the game. You're going to do these kind of missions. There's also going to be a a uh, open world-ish hub where you meet our players. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any actual combat content in that area. It's a more mission to mission type of affair, which is not exactly what I was looking for in the game uh, that uh, that's supposed to be a spiritual successor to Double Rasa, in my mind at least. They they probably never heard of Double Rasa, they're just ripping it off because you know, that's uh, what everybody does. It's the Z-Kais of the thing. Double Rasa was made in an age where people wanted, we want MMO PvP, not single player stuff. Now everybody wants single player stuff and the PvP is just window dressing because nobody uses it. I may... well, we still have time a bit. I'm gonna show you the um, the quick play at least. I could actually find someone in this mode. Hopefully it won't take too long. But we do have to find 700 people that are trying to play the PvP mode and it's in Europe right now and it's in the daytime but it's still, it's still vacation so yeah, we found people instantly almost. Okay, so let's see exactly how well this would do. In terms of performance, like you saw, the game was, well, I actually didn't keep my eye, my eye on the frame rate. You probably did. Like you probably saw the frame rate when all the things were flying around and the buzzing and the weaving and the heaving and the oobly hey. I wonder if you can customize your uh, your ship in the final version or if the ship actually has a use to it. Currently, it's it's sort of like where um, where Warframe was five years ago. No, not five. Yeah, five years ago. Four years at the least, somewhere around there. Okay, so there's uh, one guy like me, there's one warlock, and uh, the other guys. Texture is not fully loaded, but hey, that's a texture loading thing. This is the mode where we have to capture uh, the points. There's gonna be a flag there. 
when, once you capture it or if the enemy captures it. In terms of graphics, it looks nice. Not, not blow your socks up nice, but it looks nice. Okay, so... Uh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, like I said, this mode, you'd start without any sort of uh, ammo for your uh, third weapon, for your ranger weapon. And it, ammo for it will spawn from time to time. You're gonna have to... Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Someone behind me, someone behind me. Gonna throw that there. Hopefully, get them here. Come on. Ah, damn it, I, I was out of ammo. I was out of ammo. I was out of ammo. You don't respawn in this game, by the way. Well, you don't. You can't be revived, but you do respawn. Probably should have picked better weapons, too. Probably should have picked better weapons. Actually, I'm gonna pick better weapons after um, at least uh, try these one in combat. See that that thing over there? That's a battery that will res that will spawn in a couple of um, in a minute or so, and you will be able to charge your third weapon. After which it will disappear. So it's at least a, den a useful denial. Even if you don't use your third weapon, you can still get it just to deny the enemy the ability to use uh, to get it. Oh, by the way, your abilities are like in League of Legends, so they don't reload after you're dead. You're gonna have to wait around for them to reload to actually use them again. That's a bit of a thing to... Oh, God damn it! It's a thing that's made to balance out things. Okay, five seconds until we get the, uh, the thing, the battery. I'm gonna try and get it. Just so the enemy won't be able to. What does it think? Okay. Don't spend all that ammo in one place. Okay, I have my sniper rifle. My super sniper rifle. And I missed completely with it. Don't see okay, they died anyway, which is good. We lost zone C. Let's try this again. Gonna need to be a bit more far away. No, that's that's not the right weapon. Zone A captured. You have advantage. Did I pick the wrong weapon again? No. That wasn't the right weapon, like. It just fired a single streak. Uh, see, weapons can get confusing in this game. Most people use the ammo if you die. Weapons can indeed get confusing because they all look kinda of the same and they're different somehow. Okay, this is the right one. That it was an ally, no, that was an enemy. Enemy, enemy, enemy. 20 seconds until that responds. I'm gonna camp here and see if they're trying gonna try and make a break for this one. Okay, this is the thing. This is the pistol. And this is the one I need. 15 seconds. Come on. I wanna use my snapper thing. Wanna use my snapper thing. Come on, five seconds. You can also punch people to kill them. It takes about uh, two hits to kill them if they're at full health. Show your enemy what a real fight looks like. See? I, I have somehow pressed three and still got the other weapon. Not sure how. I'm gonna try and come through here and make... Oh, by the way, you can slide. It's not as satisfying as in other games for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, we capture zone C. You captured zone C. You Enemies tend to move quite fast, so uh, gotta be careful when you're actually using this. Because uh, if they do see you, you're basically dead until it charges. What if I get to keep my uh, my ammo if I switch weapons? I'm actually gonna try this after maybe at least, if I at least hit one of these guys once. Oh, damn it. There, he was behind me. And punch me. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to it because it's currently pointless. Well, point pointless. Because I have no more ammo again. I'm just gonna switch. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and play with the pistol. See if that helps. Okay, that was painful. And I got hit in the back because there's two of them. Well, at least I got one kill with a grenade. So I'm gonna switch this to something else. Uh, maybe the uh, maybe this one. And switch to this one. Okay, this is better. This is at least more recognizable. And I believe this is the one I played with um, last night with when we had the, uh, the live stream. Okay. There's one of them. Do you do not get... I don't have that thing reloaded. Oh, damn it. 
See, this is this is it's kind of bad. Oh yeah, that, that's a special ability, the golden gun. Sadly, uh, that means I died while trying to get them to not get the berry, which was kind of horrible. And they had the overcharge, bad the overcharge attack, I think. Okay, they're already they're already using their ultimates, so I should probably stay away until they consume them, or not. Yeah, one hit kills, and man, that thing had... I could have sworn I shot her in the head several times. Seems like I didn't. Or maybe my headshots don't mean much now. Okay, have my special ability, so maybe I can use... By the way, you can... Well, I got easily shut down most times when I use this thing. But they seem to be a bit more resilient. Okay, that thing didn't hit me. The battle is still close. Her knife hit the thing next to me and somehow still exploded. Knives don't explode. I think Bungie needs to learn this. Knives do not explode. I think they saw too many Steven Seagal movies. How does... How good is that revolver, honestly? Okay, I'm gonna switch to revolver because apparently the other weapon is useless. I have an enemy here? Where, 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 where? Okay, yeah, the revolver is quite good. The revolver is quite powerful, and I'm reloading. I'm gonna die. Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you go? Come back here, you coward. Yes. Finally. He killed that guy. He was on a streak or something. Bad for you, grits meeting me now. Okay, so revolvers are very, very good in PvP. More... Better. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here because this is a bad area to be in and I was half a second away from actually getting the melee kill on that character. Half a second away. You should you should always stay with your team because otherwise you're gonna be killed instantly. I'm gonna go B anyway because I wanna do this. Okay. For some reason I still I still believe that Q is an ultimate ability because of because of Overwatch. But it's actually on F. Because reasons. Let's get this. I think I heard someone behind me. What are you shooting at? Who's shooting who? Whom? Thirty seconds left. Okay, we had zone advantage. Uh, we had an advantage, but we lost it. I'm gonna capture B as quickly as I can. Switch this weapon. Maybe the extra fire rate will help. You look one way, I'm gonna look the other, and maybe we can find them in the middle. Okay, that was horrible. Okay, and they're capping C. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, see, I, I sort of wasted my bullet though, because the enemy just moved away. Yeah, we lost. Yeah, well, that's it for the play now of, um, of Destiny 2. Uh... From the thing you've seen, you can maybe make up your own mind about... Oh, we also just three and there were four. Yeah, that explains everything. You can probably make up your own mind about what the game is like from what you've seen and from the live stream. It's... Oh. I still don't have no idea what the full game is going to look like in terms of structure. Because if, if it's just a succession of those kind of missions, it's probably going to be boring as hell. It's going to be kind of meh. I... It's gonna be what what Warframe was until they announced the open world mode or a uh, better structure. It's still gonna sell like hotcakes because it's it's basically a looter, a looter shooter and looter shooters are the are the new thing. They are well, they will be the new thing for a while until uh, everybody goes to the battle royale craze. Other than that, it's um, yeah. I wouldn't say it's exactly my... I mean, I, I can enjoy this kind of game if it's well made, if it's got decent, um, you know, structure and mechanics. And The shooting mechanics that I say, the shooting is actually satisfying this game. It's it's okay, it's fine, it's it's very well made. Uh, other than that, movement, not so much. Uh, maybe they could have done with the more character abilities. Uh, you know, I basically just want them to make this game into Tabula Rasa. And Tabula Rasa had a lot more of everything, but maybe not as, it didn't have as much polish and because it was made in an age where uh, you couldn't really do uh, servers that uh, let players 
experience through ballistic simulation you couldn't do uh, you know proper aiming with guns it, it wasn't even hit scan it was just click check statistics and see if it hit and that was it well i'm gonna be back soon with well tomorrow with a new play now uh destiny 2 is gonna be out uh, in uh, september on though i believe the pc version may be a bit delayed not exactly sure i have i should have checked up on that up until then uh, well stick around check out our other shows and uh, have a good weekend goodbye